Hello again, my name is Roland. I'm with Delmi Solutions and Delmi Training Institute. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to terminate jacks made by Comscope. To get started, I need my Comscope jacks, piece of Ethernet cable, it's an unshielded twisted pair UTP cable, my line span scissors, my 110 punch tool. If you don't have any of the cable stripper and you don't have a pair of line span scissors, you can use your exacto knife. I don't recommend it, but if you don't have, then that's what you have to use. You have to be careful when using your exacto knife. I'm going to be using two different types of Comscope jacks. This jack allows for both the 568A and 568B termination. So it's got two separate color codings. If you're doing the 568A, your white orange and solid orange is going to be here white orange solid orange the white green and solid green and your blue and brown pair is going to be on that side it also comes with a retaining clip that once your termination has been completed you securely put that on to retain the cables in place also this is another variation of Comscope jack and this one also allows you to do the 568A and 568B variations and it comes with a cable retaining clip as well. Once your termination is complete and this helps to secure the cable in place, once you're done it fixes on and clips into that. To get started I'm going to use my cable stripper, run it through, pinch it a little bit and twist it. It's caused the cable a little bit and then I can just wiggle it a little bit and take the jacket off. Every time I strip this cable, I'd want to be extra sure that I did not end up scoring on the sheeting of the actual cable to end up damaging it. If that happens, halfway through your termination, you notice that the cable falls off. So it's always a good thing to check to ensure that nothing has happened. So you strip probably about an inch and a half off your jacket and you separate your cables. Now since I'm going to be doing the 568A termination, which means my solid green is going to be here, my white green, my solid orange, my white orange, and my solid blue, my white blue, my solid brown and my white brown is going to be here. So I have to separate the, the cables into the brown and blue and the green and orange. So my brown and blue on one side and my green and orange on the other side. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna place my cable here that the jacket flashes on this side. Now, since my brown stays here and my blue stays here, I'm gonna bring my brown closer and my blue is gonna go in there. In order to maintain the twist that comes with the cable, I'm going to keep my thumb on the brown pair closer to where it's going to go into the grooves. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to untwist it counterclockwise. And then that ensures that the twist travels on the side that I do not need. And then I slide it on to my jack and into like so. Now I'm gonna do the next, the same thing for the blue. I put my thumb on where it's supposed to go and I untwist counterclockwise and the cable separates while I keep maintaining my twist within the jack. And so doing, I slide it in. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for my orange paste. And having done this, my cable is ready to be punched down. As you can see, I have my white orange orange, white green green, white brown brown, and white blue blue. And so my pin one 
for the 568A, it's white green. My pin 2 is solid green. My pin 3 is white orange. My pin 4 is solid blue. My pin 5 is white blue. My pin 6 is orange. My pin 7 is white brown. And my pin 8 is solid brown. Having done this, it's time to use my 110 punch down to punch it down. Always remember that the yellow side tells you where the cutting edge of the blade is. But I always want to be sure that the cutting edge always faces outside of the jack, thereby cutting the excess cable that I don't need. My punch tool, it's got two settings. It's got the low and the high impact. When you put it on the high impact, the impact onto the jack, it's the highest. I'd always like to leave it on the low settings. So having said that, now I'm gonna go ahead and punch this one down. And now with my retention clip, I feed that on. And I have a nice and clean termination. Noting that the jacket is not exposed and it's right in as recommended. Another unique way to terminate comscope jacks if you don't have access to a 110 punch down tool is to make use of the retention clips that comes with it. This retention clips is designed in such a way that it has the grooves that allows the cables to go through and these little notches on it depresses the cables into their respective grooves and holds them in place. So to do that, untwist each and every strand and separate them as an individual strand this way. This specific jack is a Cat 5E jack and as you can see the color coding on the sides are different from that of the Cat 6. Having fed the individual cable strands in, you're going to take your retention clip and feed it on it that way and depress it all the way. And what this does is it ensures that all the cables have been inserted firmly into the grooves to make contact with the pins. And that clips on it. So now with my linesman scissors or my side cutters, I'm going to trim off the excess cables on the side of my jack. Those are the two differences from the jacks that I just terminated. This one is with my 110 punch tool and this one is without a 110 punch tool. These are two unique ways you can terminate the comscope jack without and with the 110 punch tool. Now the next termination I'm going to do is using my top load comscope um, jack. This is the UNG 600. The first thing I want to do is to slide my cable retention clip onto the cable before proceeding to strip your cable and prep it for termination. So now that I have my retention clip on my cable, I'm going to go ahead and strip my cable. Now from this jack, It allows me to terminate in the 568A and 568B pinout fashion. So 
so with my 568a which is on the exterior of this one my white blue goes into this my solid blue goes into the next groove my white orange goes into the third one and my solid orange goes into the fourth one and on the other side I have my white green going in here my solid green to the next one my white brown on the third one and my solid brown on the fourth one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate my cables to have my blue and orange on the left and my green and brown on the right it sends my orange and my brown it's further I'm going to send those ones in the middle and I'm going to put my my cable on the jack like so I'm going to keep my thumb on it and because my white blue goes to the first one keep it there on twist to have my cable split up like that and what it does is it allows me to slide it in the groove now my next one is my white orange and orange So having done this, my cable is ready to be punched down. So now using my 110 punch tool, I'm going to go ahead and, and punch it down. And when you notice it, it falls off with no problem. Punch down. And these ones also fall off with no problems with time you find out that every time you punch you're not getting a clean cut and you have to punch three four five times it's an indication that your blade is starting to get dull and get a replacement for it so now that I've terminated my com scope jack I slide on my cable retainer to it by just lifting this section a little bit and slide my cable retainer on and push it all the way down till it clips in and this way my termination has been completed successfully Alright folks, so this brings us to yet the end of another tutorial on how to terminate Comscope jacks. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it informative. If you did, please make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram at Delmi Training and also subscribe to our channel. If you want to be the first to be notified of any of our future videos, please make sure to turn on your notification. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this short tutorial on how to terminate Comscope jacks and also if you have any suggestions regarding future videos that you'd want us to touch on, please make sure to leave us a note in the comment section below. My name is Roland and I'm with Delmi Solutions and Delmi Training Institute. Thank you for watching and stay safe.